April Hill Mary Pioneers um, Volunteer Ministry Minute um, for Thursday, April 16th. Um, I'm really excited to be here with you guys um, to share some stuff with you guys about faith um, and things we're all doing. Um, I, I, as I was thinking, as I was preparing to be able to do this for you guys, um, something just really weighed on my heart um, that I feel like we all kind of need to hear right now um, to get through this. Then we're going to do a short prayer. Um, so I was thinking about everything going on, all the uncertainties. Um, but more importantly, I was thinking about this distance I've been feeling from the church because we can't receive the sacraments um, or we can receive confession at a distance, but we're not at mass together anymore. We're not receiving the Eucharist. Um, and it's really hard to be away from that environment. It's hard to be away from the chapel. It's hard to be away from God in that way, um, in a really physical way. Um, and so just this like longing for God that I'm feeling. Um, and I started to think about it in the sense of how God must feel. Um, so if our longing, if our human longing could be so great for, maybe it's not God for you. Maybe it's friends. Maybe it's the school building. Maybe it's your sport team. Um, whatever it is that you have this deep hole for, um, in your life right now, um, and I really just started to think about how much greater God's whole must be sometimes um, because he loves us far more than we could ever love anything in our lives um, and how much he just wants us to come back to him um, and desires for us to come back to him and see him and trust him because um, he loves us and he longs for that. And so I feel like in this moment, we really need to acknowledge the fact that we're getting this window um, into the heart of God. Um, and even though it's hard and by no means is this easy or normal, do I want it to continue? No. But in a way, it's allowing us to see God in such a new light. Um, he's allowing us to see him. He's giving us the grace um, to understand his heart a little bit more um, and this longing desire he has for us in the same way that we long for normalcy, um, for our friends, all those things. Um, just how much greater God longs for each and every one of us, which is crazy and wild and amazing. Um, and I hope you guys realize that. I hope you all feel this love and this desire that God has for each of us and that he's calling us to um, embrace in this time. Um, and that kind of got me thinking about how this Sunday is Divine Mercy Sunday um, which is great. And we get to encounter God's mercy. Um, so I want to share this prayer with you guys called trust in divine mercy. So in the name of the father, son, Holy spirit, amen. Most merciful Jesus. I turn to you in my need. You are worthy of my complete trust. You are faithful in all things. When my life is filled with confusion, give me clarity and faith. When I am tempted to despair, fill my soul with hope. Most merciful Jesus, I trust you in all things. I trust in your perfect plan for my life. I trust you when I cannot comprehend your divine will. I trust you when all feels lost. Jesus, I trust you more than I trust myself. Most merciful Jesus, you are all-knowing. Nothing is beyond your sight. You are all-loving. Nothing in my life is beyond your concern. You are all-powerful. Nothing is beyond your grace. Most merciful Jesus, I trust in you, I trust in you, I trust in you. May I trust you always and in all things. May I daily surrender to your divine mercy. Most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Mercy, pray for us as we turn to you in our need. Amen. Great. Peace be with you guys. Um, I hope you just feel the love of God today.